Hello kids, are you ready to learn about singular and plural nouns? Let's begin! By the end of the lesson, you will be able to Understand the difference between singular and plural nouns Identify and use singular and plural nouns in sentences Let me ask you a question What is your favorite toy? Is it a doll? A ball? Maybe a teddy bear? Maybe some of you like balls, and some like dolls. Do you have one toy or many toys? For example, if I have one ball, that is singular. Singular means one. If I have many balls, that is plural. Plural means more than one. Let's look at this. If I have one toy, like this one doll, it is singular. But if I have many toys, like these two dolls, it is plural. Singular means one, and plural means more than one. How to make plural nouns. Step one, add S to most words. First, let's look at the easiest rule. To make most nouns plural, just add S to the word. For example, dog, becomes dogs, hat becomes hats, chair becomes chairs, pen becomes pens, tree becomes trees. See? It's really simple. Just add S to most words. Step 2. Add ES if the word ends in S, SH, CH, X, or Z. Let's look at some examples. Glass becomes glasses. Dish becomes dishes. Bench becomes benches. Fox becomes foxes. Quiz becomes quizzes. These words need ES because of how they end. Step 3. Special case. Words ending in O. Before we move on, let's quickly review vowels and consonants because they help us understand how to form plural nouns. Vowels are the letters A, E, I, O, and U. Consonants are all the other letters in the alphabet. They are the letters B, C, D, etc. Some words end in O, and we treat them a little differently. If the word ends in O and has a vowel before it, just add S. Piano becomes pianos. Photo becomes photos. But if the word ends in O and has a consonant before it, we add E S. Potato becomes potatoes. Tomato becomes tomatoes. So remember, some O words just add S, but others add ES. Step 4. Special case, words ending in Y. Next, let's talk about words that end in Y. If there is a consonant right before the Y, we change the Y to IES. Baby 
becomes babies. City becomes cities. Lady becomes ladies. But if there's a vowel before the Y, just add S. Key becomes keys. Boy becomes boys. Day becomes days. So, consonant plus Y changes to I, E, S, but vowel plus Y just adds S. Now we are going to practice making singular nouns into plural nouns. Let's begin with the sentence. I saw five. What's the plural of dog? That's right. Dogs. So, the sentence will be, I saw five dogs. Great job! Next. He bought two. What's the plural of sandwich? Yes. Sandwiches. So, the sentence is, he bought two sandwiches. Good work! Here's the next one. She carried three. What's the plural of box? Right. It's boxes. So, the sentence should be, she carried three boxes. Well done! Ow. Let's try this one. There are four in the room. What's the plural of lady? That's right. It's ladies. So the sentence is, there are four ladies in the room. Nice job. Let's look at the next sentence. I have one. Only one. Remember, it's singular here. So, the sentence is, I have one, watch. Let's move on. We planted many. What's the plural of tree? Yes, it's trees. So the sentence is, we planted many trees. Well done. Here's a tricky one. There are two at the park. What's the plural of child? The plural is children. So, the sentence is, there are two children at the park. Great job for getting that one. Now, let's look at this one. He saw a flock of... What's the plural of bird? That's right. Birds. So... The sentence is, he saw a flock of birds. Nice work. Awesome job today, kids. You did really well with making singular nouns into plural nouns. Remember, just add S or ES. And if the word ends in Y or O, remember the special rules. Keep practicing and you'll even get better. See you next time!